Hello and welcome to another video from the only channel that you need to not only survive the current apocalypse but actually enjoy. And today we're going to be testing a Manfrotto Mini Pixie Tripod. And the reason you're, that this video is important is because uh, there's a lot of videos out there to tell you what this, this tripod will do. We're going to see if it will do things it says it cannot do and there's a reason for that. When I made the decision about which camera to buy I went and watched a lot of vloggers and this particular camera came up a few times but a lot of other cameras came up and when I weighed out all my options I determined that the best possible one for what I wanted to do is a Canon Vixia and this particular Vixia is the HFG20 and uh, you know I knew I've been using these teeny tiny little ten dollar cameras forever and in fact that's what this is being videotaped with right now in fact the one that's on the tripod is even the same color as this one and these are fantastic because they're obsolete but they use regular standard AA batteries so you can still get the batteries for them a lot of obsolete cameras when they stop making the cameras they stop making the batteries you can still get brand new batteries for a lot of these obsolete cameras but they're brand new ten year old batteries that means they're dead batteries in an unopened box but, and in fact, this is what I, I was going to use for video for the rest of my life. But the videos I'm making are getting very popular. They're going to be around for a long time. And the stuff that I've been making with these already looks dated. So we want to get as a good a piece of, of kit as possible for making videos so that 10 years from now I didn't look at them and feel ashamed at the, of the quality. So, I, I did a video a while back where I talked about all the stuff that was in my vlogging kit, including these, and I made the statement that you don't have to worry about what kind of a tripod to get. Because when you're using a camera like this, a $5 tripod will do exactly what a $10,000 tripod will do. You only get the big expensive tripods when you got a 40 pound camera that costs thousands of dollars. You know, this here anything will work. But with a camera that's a little heavier, then you start having problems because the things that you use are going to uh, be kind of under a lot more stress than they're designed for. I'm going to show you why this particular Manfrotto tripod is, is a, such a big deal for me. I have something called familial tremors and I take a, a drug called propranolol to try to keep them at bay but it's it doesn't stop them it just makes it a little bit better and what happens is if you got tremors and you're operating a camera then your every video you shoot has tremors that's why most of my videos are just done on a tripod now for me you know I could put a handle on my camera to uh, shoot video and the reason that's even important is because the way you're supposed to use this camera is like this and uh, a lot of times when you're shooting outdoors and you have this thing open if the sun is at a low angle or even if the sun is just shooting through the forest at, at an angle that kind of puts a glare on your screen you can't see what you're doing so I like to shoot videos like this with the screen up it seems to take care of a lot of that, that glare problem and uh, that you can't really comfortably do that with your hand in hand inside this built-in thing so I got this on here because this is at least possible I can I can shoot like that but even that's uncomfortable and I really need to use two hands to kind of keep the camera from shaking so uh, anyways I got this and you can put it in an angle and that makes it real easy. This is almost perfect for what I need to do. Now there's all kinds of gadgets that you can use and I'll show you one of those in a minute. But to just have a, a very simple rig to take out in the woods and do walk arounds where I'm showing off my fruit and my nut trees and my uh, vegetables and things of that nature. Well, I don't, I don't want to have to drag a whole bunch of stuff out there to do this. And this works pretty good. The problem is this is a heavy camera and I'm not comfortable with this. Because you can't, no matter what you do, this thing is not going to hold up that much weight. Now, this little rig here is like a GoPro thing, and somehow I ended up with a whole box of GoPro stuff. Didn't cost me much of anything. 
And uh, in, in fact, these would not work. I had to take sandpaper and sand all of the bearing surfaces on this thing. And then they started to hold when you tighten them down. But it's still not a perfect solution. And I wanted something that didn't shake. Now, Manfrotto, the Manfrotto website, I guess you can see that. Yeah, that's the, I got the computer set on the Manfrotto website. They say that this cam, this tripod will hold up to a two and a half pound camera. And I went online and found out that my camera weighs two and a half pounds. So I should be good, right? No, not necessarily because... Uh, a lot of times when I'm out in the woods, it's windy, and uh, here's the microphones for this camera. There's no way to put a wind jammer on there. They get these things, they're called like dead kittens or furry somethings, and in fact, here's one right here. And this goes on my audio recorder. So, since I can get one of these from audio recorder, when it's windy, I need to record audio on a separate recorder. I can use it as a microphone and hook it right into here so that, that way I don't have an audio file and a video file because it puts it all together. But still, there's really no way to use this in the wind without an audio recorder or a separate microphone. Now, I've got... I'll take this off. I've, I've got this audio recorder, which I think is probably about a pound, and I really think this is maybe more. I, the specs that I saw when I bought the camera were like four pounds, I think, but it was because of the box and all of that. There was a shipping weight. So we're going to find out today when I open this thing if that Manfrotto rig will hold this heavy camera up. Now the guy that, that did the vlog with this, the guy that kind of talked me into getting this camera, also had a video where he talked about the perfect setup for his camera, which included this Manfrotto tripod. And here it is. This is like an unboxing. I never, I always see these unboxings and I think, you know, it's really stupid. Why in the world would somebody do that? And I guess it's possible. I mean, I get a thrill on opening my stuff. It's kind of fun to open it in front of people. I don't know why something like a genetic defect that's worked its way into mankind. But anyways, I was looking at the, how this thing is made, and it just doesn't seem like there's any possibility that this could be strong enough to hold this big, heavy camera. Now, I just weighed the camera. I, I think I told you just now it was like two and a half pounds. Where did I put my notes? I'll be back in a second. I actually weighed this two different ways. I, I weighed myself on my scale. I've got a doctor scale with one of those weights on it. So I weighed myself, and then I weighed myself with the camera, then I weighed myself with the, the gear attached to the camera, and then I weighed the gear separately, because it's a doctor scale, I, I knew that it wasn't going to be accurate for something that small. But I got, uh, well that's how much I weigh, you don't need to know that. But like this little camera here, actually weighed in according to my scale at a quarter of a pound, and that's probably close enough to accurate for our purposes today. <laughs> And uh, the ca my camera actually weighed in twice, once at one and a half pounds and one at two and a quarter pounds. So we'll say 1.75 to two pounds just for the camera. So we're going to go ahead and try the camera on here and see what happens. I suspect that this is going to be really good. And like I say, the, reason, the only real reason I wanted this, it's nice to have a tripod just automatically attached, especially if you're using it for handle. I'll tell you something else. That the guy that does the vlogging that talked me into getting this camera and handle, he, uh, he was showing me the reason that he, he likes this is that the handle is very ergonomic. Ergonomic means it's easy to hold. And it's uh, just you press a button, and that allows you to move this anywhere you want. And so he was using it to do those selfie things where he's just walking along talking, and that gave him a little bit of extra extension. Uh, I don't need it for that. Remember, I need mine to go the other direction. Now we'll try it with the, with the gear on it. Now you're going to have to bear with me as I remove all my stuff. And you're going to actually, see, I'm recording the audio with my audio recorder right now. So this is going to be a little bumpy. You have to adjust your volume when this thing is right by my face. 
There's my audio recorder. That little red light means we're recording. Okay, I am gonna screw this thing down to this this uh, shock mount. And see, the shock mount, I got that because sometimes you do bump the thing and you don't want to have that bump sound on your video. But the reality is, so far, this has not done me any good because I haven't bumped into anything since I've had it or been using it. But this, this is the thing that makes the whole rig. It's a little $10 thing. It's, you know, it's not this. It's not this that's making this work out. It's this little piece of cloth that looks like a troll. My wife wants me to put a troll sticker on my audio recorder because it kind of... If you're old as me, you know what a troll is. Okay, we're going to screw that down tight and put my wire on here, but I'm not going to put the wire in the recorder because I don't know how that would affect it while it's working. Okay, there's all the weight we got, and this actually weighed in. This whole rig weighed in at approximately two and one half pounds. Because uh, one way I weighed it was two pounds, one it was two and three quarters. So just say two and a half pounds. So this is two and a half pounds, and if you go to the website of of whatever camera you use, you can find out, or any camera you're looking at, you can find out what the precise weight is. Okay, so right now, that's solid. That's rock solid. This is really cool. And it is a, it is a tripod, so I'm gonna, let me get my little TV tray over here. That is so cool. If you ever, the, the guy that, that uh, whose vlog I watch every now and then, and mostly because my wife is always watching him, his name is uh, Nomadic Fanatic, and he's really entertaining, and a lot of the stuff he does is very educational, but this is probably the best thing that I've gotten from him. If you watch the video where he talks about his Manfrotto tripod, he gets really excited, and now I know why. Alright, before we wrap this video up, I did want to show you one more piece of gear that's only somewhat related. When I first realized that it was uncomfortable for me to hold this camera while I was walking around, uh, I purchased this. And it's uh, an Andor camera handle, camera grip. If you type in it, any of that into a search box on eBay, then it'll link you to a whole bunch of other stuff that's just like this. But they make them, I think they make these out of aluminum, machined aluminum. They're very expensive. This one's just cheap plastic. I think I paid $15 for it. And I kind of was scared to use it because I didn't want my camera to break. But I flexed it around a bit. It doesn't feel like it's going to crack. And uh, here's, here's basically what you're supposed to do with it. You're supposed to be able to walk around holding this. And uh, it puts another layer between your audio recorder and your in your video recorder but I went ahead and put this handle on here just to see if perhaps that would be another option for getting a good steady comfortable grip and it seems to work somewhat so you know that may be uh, something you want to do if you're you're looking for a way to hold uh, your video equipment with two hands uh, one thing that I did notice is that you can't just hold it by this and shake it in it it's not that this adds much weight. This is maybe an ounce or two, but it's so big this way that your audio recorder is going to put a lot of leverage. So it's got a lot of more uh, force to it when you're moving around, and it will take this handle and uh, jockey it on down to a different position. Oh, and this is also a pretty good tabletop rig, like if you're sitting somewhere with somebody conducting an interview. Just set it down, and there's your video and your audio all together in one package, and uh, it's just a really cool looking rig. And there's a couple of reasons why I did this. One is just to show off, because you know I'm a guy. I like to show off my cool stuff that I'm proud of. But uh, another reason is because I really wish there had been a video like this available for me when I was trying to make the decision as to whether or not to buy this Manfrotto um, Pixie Mini tripod. Uh, these experiments are, are kind of expensive. Now, I knew when I got this that if it didn't work, if it wouldn't hold the weight of my camera, I'm often using my smaller cameras, which it obviously would work for. But I wasn't going to order this thing and then find out I didn't like it and 
you know, tell a man Frodo I wanted my money back. And I won't do that with anybody. It's just bad form. Especially with like that other rig I have. That's probably some really poor person trying to make a living just selling those things. And he's given me free shipping and now he's, you know, I'm going to complain and he's got to send me a shipping carton and he's just going to be out of money and ha without having done anything wrong. So, uh, anyway, that's one reason. But another reason is because if you're out there thinking about getting one of these, this is $24.99 from Manfrotto's website. That means you don't have to go through Sears and Robux or TGNY or any of that stuff to purchase this. You can purchase it directly from the manufacturer for $24.99, basically $25. Now, I'm one of them guys that doesn't like to be a consumer so I always feel good if I can get something like this used from someone who's not using it rather than to use up vital resources to make me a brand new one. Because I already know that if I get this from somebody that's used it two or three times, well, in a day and a half, I'll have my brand new one in the same shape as the one that I'm going to buy used. But I found a few of them on eBay. And even the used ones are about $23, $24. And you know, to save a dollar, it's just pointless to buy something used when you can get something new. But eBay is pretty good for the buyer. So if somebody tried to rip me off and send me some beat up piece of junk, I'd get my money back. And I would do that if somebody's scamming. But the, the reality is these things are still selling. So I wait, I bid, I waited a week on the night I was supposed to win this thing. Somebody outbid me at the last minute. So they're buying this basically for the brand new price which I don't have a problem with, you know, I wouldn't mind spending brand new price on a used item if it keeps me from participating in consumerism. But the problem that I have with that whole system is that Manfrotto can get this to me in two days and if, if I get it off eBay, I'm going to have to spend a month bidding on these things. So I went ahead and just ordered mine brand new and honestly, currently, for what they're selling them for, if you want one of these, it's best just to go to the manufacturer and buy it brand new. Oh well, I hope that that helps somebody. Uh, I'll put Manfrotto in the description box, Pixie, Pixie Mini Manfrotto Tripod, and hopefully anybody that's thinking about buying one will pop into my page, take a, take a look at what I'm put, putting up, and uh, be better able to make a decision about what they want to do. As always, if you don't want to survive, don't listen to me.